All righty, day six of the tarpon chase. <laughs> Trying to catch one off the beach here. So back to windy conditions, overcast, muddy waters. Uh, that's what day one through four was like where there was tons of tarpon, so, uh, but not seeing them. Uh, a couple days that the wind had died down came out here and they were gone. Um, I think what it was is that the bait took off once the weather was nicer and then so did the tarpon. But uh, today is the first windy day back so maybe the bait hasn't been congested in this corner here. So uh, we'll just wait and see. But every night right at sunset, after sunset, uh, there's always some real tiny juveniles rolling around by the beach. So. I should be able to at least get a shot at those, but one of these days. And I've got my faithful companion over there keeping an eye out for me. He thinks someday I'm going to catch something and give it to him. All right, we got something that's jumping. Whoa! What the hell is that? Not my tarpon, but something good. What the hell is that? It's jumping. Not a jack. Jumping jack. I got a tail wrapped. Whatever it is. I want to know what you are, tail wrap something. Oh, this is my... No? What the hell is that? I was going to say it's a tarpon, but... It's got a red tail on it. Or is that just a tarpon with a bloody tail? Weird. Mm. That is my tarpon. Just got him by tail wrapped. It's got a red bloody tail, that's why. Oh, 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 oh. Heh <laughs> heh heh. These is what I've been chasing after. Here we go. Day six. Finally got him. My little baby. Couldn't tell what it was because that red tail. All right, time to let you go. Ah, beauty, beauty. Whenever you're ready, guy. <laughs> you don't get them Finally So basically the setup here is the wind is blowing this direction So it's causing the uh, current to wrap around that corner and then to this little eddy here so I'm fishing that kind of a Edge of the current just like you would trout fishing And just uh, Pulling it through there and they seem to have been lying around that area waiting for some bait to get pushed through. And just fan casting through there. There we 
go. There we go. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Bam. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Two in a row. Trying to figure out a better landing spot. Oh, jumping. Yeah, tarpon number two. Oh, on the leader. Yes. Oh, look out. You done? And the save. Number two, baby. All about the bait. <laughs> All right. Hold you up there. Ready? Off into the murky water. Two. Nice. And you're still not going to get one. Got some tarpon just rolling right here along the beach. That'll be the next place I go. See what he's actually waiting for is that uh, the fish will corral the bait and then run him up along the beach and then he'll go up and grab one. He doesn't have to do any work. Lazy bastard. Expects me to give him my fish. Every time I cast I can see dimples where the line scares the fish up. And I can see dimples running over there. One of the benefits of this type of fishing, beautiful sunset. <laughs> Just in case you don't catch anything. Seen the tails rolling on there. A little bit past my range. But how can you beat that sunset? Oh, he's going in for the kill somewhere. You see some. Ah! Oh. I had him and he jumped off, got him right there. Took my hand off just so I could uh, hit the button for the camera. S crap, stupid, huh? Stupid GoPros, stupid YouTube. See, he's getting his bait. That was a nice size tarpon too. Crap, no, right? Dang it. Sometimes YouTube is a pain in the butt. All right, while there's still a little bit of light left, uh, I'm just gonna sign off now. Uh, I'm gonna do a follow-up video on this area and how I'm fishing it, just in case there's people in Key West or if you're visiting 
and you want to catch a tarpon and don't want to pay a thousand dollar charter uh, you can come on down and catch one yourself so anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you next video bye